Hey guys, so news broke about the VIP. We don't really have manufactured suggested retail price, which is MSRP anymore, but a lot of stores still kind of use it. The MSRP for four, four packs, these are packs by the way, is $479.96, equivalent to $92 a pack. This is a very poor time to be launching this Omega. Essentially, you could either get a standard box or you could get a single pack of this. I'm not making this up. Wizard of the Coast is completely out of bounds. I spend a lot of money. I, You guys watch. I play mobile games. I don't really expect much return from mobile games. I expect zero, actually. It's not really a resale value. And this is bad. Uh, this is very bad. Uh, $92 a pack is something that most players are not going to accept. And I understand the statement Meryl makes is always, it's not for you, it's not for you. But it's really, really disgusting. And beyond just being disgusting, it doesn't make any sense. You're launching a very expensive product in a time where some people don't have jobs. I mean, your demographic is not wealthy. The majority of your demographic is incredibly poor. Uh, I think of Christine Sprankles when she was asking for donations. She lived in her mother's trailer. That's probably the typical Magic the Gathering player. They love this game, and it's so sad that there's such a huge divide. Now, can I buy this? Yeah, I just bought a lot of crap that I don't need from GameStop because it was on sale. Will I buy this? Probably. Uh, I don't think Walmart's going to carry this particular product, but I guess we'll find out. You do have a divide of people who have money and people who don't have money. And this is true in America on all, you know, people who eat at fancy restaurants and people who eat at cheap restaurants, people who live in nice neighborhoods and nice homes and people who don't. That divide has always existed in real life. But Magic the Gathering, one thing that I have always said that I love about it, it doesn't matter how much money you have. Your opponent could be a billionaire. Your opponent could be a millionaire. And you could be dirt poor. But you can still beat him in a game of Magic. You can still beat him in a game of ED8. And more importantly, you can still have fun with that person. My play group is all doctors, lawyers, and energy traders. It's all people who are millionaires. I'm a millionaire. But I still enjoy FNM. The best FNM experience I've ever had was with a guy who worked at Target, uh, two dudes who work at Chili's, a guy who was unemployed, a community college student, and uh, I don't think any of them, uh, all people from the military, I forgot. Yeah, and a few people from the military, and they were really fun, very nice, and I think it's diversity. So whenever you talk about diversity, that was a very diverse play group I had at FNM. And the reason we all got along was we all enjoyed playing Magic the Gathering. And that's the only thing that we really shared in common. And now that uh, classism, if you want to say, is infecting Magic the Gathering. We have the NPL and then we're the rest of the Magic Pros. And you know, I made videos about Austin, the number one Magic player being banned for life because he is, there's a divide, right? Uh, and they have their own Discord channel, the NPL does, so they can complain and tell Magic what they want and the Magic will implement it, like banning the companions if they wanted to do that. And you still have in the booster pack. And the booster pack is really kind of equality, right? So when talking about masterpieces, if we're all opening the same booster pack, you have as good of a shot, your booster pack, as my booster pack. I just might buy more of them, which is actually good for you because then I flood the market with cheaper cards so you can buy in singles at a better cost. But the current system where you have regular packs, you have collector's packs, and then you have VIP packs is not sustainable because most Magic players are not millionaires. Now, will I buy this product? Yeah. Do I want to buy it? Not really. I know I'm going to buy it just to have it uh, because I like, in the sports collectible, I collect sports cards as well. 
So a $500 box is not very much. Uh, I'm used to uh, $10,000 boxes of sports cards, flawless, panini flawless, eminence, and things of that nature. So, I mean, pretty bad, I have to say. I never expected that to be the same way in Magic. Then again, you know, who knows what's going to happen in the future. Hi, guys.